Okay, Limon, uh, we've got the uh, McLaren P1 GTRs and we've found some friends for it to play with, namely the Ferrari FXXK and the Porsche 935. Four laps, um, surprise in the middle, possibly. Um, pit stop. And we've enabled the DRS and boost systems. Because these aren't quick enough. So you'll see the cars are quite evenly matched actually. Woo! But the Porsche hasn't really got the legs on it. It is uh, a bag of aero that will uh, stick around the bends. That Ferrari is just unhinged. Okay, we are now hitting DRS. Got to press and hold. So the rear wing is now disabled. Watch the speed out. 340, 350, 360, 37. I'm braking. <laughs> 370 and I'm braking. As soon as you let go of the button, the wing pops back into place. But you should be able to see it on the car in front. No, you won't. Unless we can get really close. I've got DRS open again. Just going to hit the boost button. Okay, I'm leaving the traction control on five because. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll let anything load on five. Um, Leave that to the uh, aliens out there. Just absolutely obliterate those two with the DRS. I mean, yeah, we're breaking all the way back here. Which was a bit early, but. Cut that. DRS open. I just need it closed just to navigate around them first uh, this is this is right on the edge of grip with the RS open the, those corners gives you an idea of how much aero you're dumping Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. They do require a lot of uh, concentration. As the car just moves around all over the track, the smallest thing just, and then you open the DRS and it's even worse. It's just exaggerated so much because you've got no air on the back. You will actually see traction control like flickering on in a straight line on a dry track in sixth first second third fourth and fifth it's a given it's practically permanently on six it'll be flicking on and off on a straight road okay so that's the first one of them going in for the pits i'm getting absolutely uh, Jumps all over by these cars. DRS open, absolutely powering it through. DRS closed because I need it. <laughs> Car all shapes. DRS at these speeds is just basically just giving trucks control a hard time. So I'll leave it for the straight. Whoa, snatch back there to jump out of that one. Massive slide, massive slide. DRS open, throw it in. Marshall's not happy with that one. 
use that thousand brake horsepower. In slippy shape, oh my god. Fighting down a straight. So this all about 360. First marker board, I'm hitting it. It just all everything just appears way too quick. DRS open again. We just check something. Yep, we are using the boost. Boost is kind of on permanently, so it's regening and uh, deploying as you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Inclusion avoidance, yeah, two track warnings. Mm. Missed me break a point. There's a marker board out. You get tunnel vision at these speeds, and looking at the side of the track is not recommended. He's staying with me, the boy is. right away across the track yeah the steering is just so light and vague at this point it's alongside of me Beast that Ferrari. And here comes the rain. Yeah. Why not? Oh, whoa, whoa. maximum crossed up there. Uh, get this traction control on. It goes up to 20. We're having 20. I'm sorry. I am not a hero. So let's get this uh, in the pits now. We'll not be uh, closing down DRS. Sunny for a, a lap of light shower. Everybody diving in. So there was a comment about can't pit stop with thunder flash mods or any mods I think in specific thunder flash mods <laughs> well there's my stop sign we're running exila and thunder flash mods can we go across please thank you and here's a pit stop custom one I've put on which is just changed tires don't need the fuel I hope uh, so yeah, you can pit, you can set races up with pit stops, not a problem. We have both Exila stuff, XTCs, PMCTs and of course Freds. Question answered. Track is still dry around here, ish. We will. He says, get completely crossed up there. Cold tires coming out of pits, damp track. What do you put on me? Softs. Oh, of course, of course, guys, put softs on. I think Jim's had a hand in this one. I hope this track dries out quick. Because it is uh, definitely not the place for dry slicks, soft slicks. DRS open, let's just go for it. Hopefully we'll find some dry bits where we need to break. Okay, speed rising, 360, 360's gone, I'm breaking a bit early. Okay, plenty of braking there. 
still got the uh, traction control on 20. I'm going to turn that up a bit. Down a bit even. Let's go half. Let's go on 10. Now I really have to concentrate. I break here. Not there. Oh look how I can get round now. It's a soaking wet track. Jim Y I There will be words soft slicks The man's out to get me I tell ya Hmm for those of you who have stuck around so far into these shenanigans or drive in track um, something people haven't picked up on some have uh, majority haven't the MX-5 of which I am testing the track day version which is oh so good oh so good um, it's uh, actually it's, it's not a project cars mod no it is uh, from need for speed shift one or two can't remember which one um, so you'll see some funky um, body kits on the racetrack version arches and side skirts and spoilers and things um, they are running within um, AMS2 physics I don't think you're driving you're going to be driving a police car or something like that um, but no the, uh, the, the actual car models are from uh, Shift which opens up a whole new bag no longer are you limited to whatever was in Project Cars. Uh, now you've got other titles, lots of stuff in there with additional stick-on bits. Um, so, if anybody was wondering, the future's bright, but the future is shift. Um, just it opens up that car roster from what was uh, an ever dwindling supply in Project Cars. Oh, gosh, tracks drying. And I'm talking, uh, yeah, to a dwindling supply as more and more get modded in project cars, uh, to uh, a whole new title with a whole new host of cars and possibilities, which are, and it's just the car models that are brought in. The physics is all good old AMS2. Well, there you go. For those who didn't know and absolutely loved them and embraced them, that's where they're from. Whoa. Right, let's have a good run here. Let's have a good run. Let's lower that trash control. It says, it's the last lap, why not? I'm not going below five. Whoa, God. Yeah, that's bad on the puddles. That's super slippy. And we're breaking it. Three, six, four. Just getting our nose in. Back on. And that says a little bit in no man's land after the pit stop, but um, the rain and the wrong tyres didn't help. We've still got cars in front, we may catch them before the end. We are absolutely hammering along here. But we are uh, treading lightly, shall we say, with the wet pits. The car's trying to take off on me. Nearly outbreak myself then. Come on, slowly reeling them in. Game's looking glorious at golden hour. Here they come. Ah, 
crossed up when I need to be getting the car straight and braking. Not the plan. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Using everything. DRS is open, boost is at max. Car is just trying to pop a wheelie down the straight over the bumps. Front steering is just so vague, it is scurry. Come on. The traction control is screaming. Don't think we're going to pull these guys in. Whoa. Bit wet on the inside there. Round. Come on. Oh, come on. DRS open. Break him. Never going to catch him. Never going to catch him. But there they are. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Multi class and two cars you may never have heard of. Which are equally as quick as this beast which is insanely fast right thanks for watching